But first, for you people who've never been, you know, uh, the adult, like to hang out in uh, Soy Cowboy and Nana Plaza, those are probably the two most famous red light districts here in Bangkok. Um, entertainment zones, you know, it's for partying and, you know, nightlife enthusiasts looking to experience the wild side, you know, of Bangkok. And, you know, you'll see all kinds of uh, young and old men and women just having a good time you know it's not my cup of tea you know I, I'm not particular into that type of stuff you know I like to do my own thing and, and it doesn't involve the P F P pay for play I don't get down like that so anyway but I figured I'd give you guys a little tour of it, it it's pretty fun to see and you know you can hang out and have a beer over there and you know just people watch and that's what I did. So come along for the ride. We'll show you what's up. Time to get a little breakfast, y'all. Let's go check out the spread. So this is on the second floor. It's called the kitchen table. That's where they do a breakfast buffet. They have a little bread section. Sweets. Pastries. Waffle pearls, pancakes. Bread. Salad bar. Also have a juice and wine bar and fresh proteins, detox. Pretty good stuff here. Fresh OJ. I'll get one of these. I got a little pineapple and cantaloupe start. Didn't have watermelon today, so that sucks. Fresh pancakes, over easy egg, some tater tots and toast. Nice power breakfast. All right, breakfast was a success, guys. We'll go back in here and watch the second half of this game, basketball game. It's like 8.30 in the morning and the NBA is on. <laughs> anyway, we'll catch the rest of the game and then we'll head out. And I just woke up from a nap. It's raining out there today. So y'all, time to hit the gym, getting my pre-workout in. And I had a super lazy day to hear today. I haven't done shit but edit and like make uh, thumbnails for these videos I got coming out. And today, you know, sometimes you just need a day of doing nothing. But we're going to salvage the rest of the day after the gym. Go out, check out Coast Down Road for you guys and see what it's like. I haven't been out there in years, so it should be interesting to see the changes that are um, going on out there. So anyway, we're gonna hit this gym, get that out the way, and then we're going to Cosan Road. <laughs>
stroll down the Cosan Road after getting off of the Tuk Tuk. I haven't been in this place in years. Let's see how it is, man. Let's see if it's suitable for somebody old or is it just a young man's game over here? Busy as usual. Why I be in this place heavy. It's so much energy for young folks. Y'all gotta come out here, you young, and you follow my YouTube channel. Get out here, check it out. It's well worth it. You'll have a great time. Nothing has changed, but they've repaved this bad boy. It's actually real smooth to walk on this thing now. Oh, it's hot as a mofo out here, y'all. But like I was saying, when you under 35 and you ain't never been to Kosan Road, you should check it out. Crazy energy. All these young people out here having a great time. It's a good lesson for all you old people that are afraid to travel. All you gotta do is come here and you see 18 year olds traveling the world by themselves. This is a hub, jump off spot to meet other like minded travelers that might be traveling by themselves. So you guys should check it out, man. Highly worth it. Highly worth it. Nah, just the hotel. Just make sure you get me there safely. guys want to see what a clean room looks like you have your toilet area nice shower huge bathtub full-size mirror got a closet here and then you have your bedroom typical double W hotel got a mini bar snacks and then you got a nice little workstation here that I was doing my editing and stuff with and this is the room 297 per night y'all want to see something cool god damn sent out to get my laundry done and brought it back in this little box 
Three shirts, a couple pairs of shorts, some underwear and socks, and a pair of slacks. It only cost me twelve hundred baht, and they brought it back in like four hours. Super dope. Time to check out y'all. W Hotel, Bangkok. Y'all, time to start this long ass journey back to the house. 24 hours. Starts now. Go find my airline counters. See where they're operating at. Alright, made it through customs and immigration. About a couple hours to kill before the flight. Let's go find a lounge you get into. Relax for a little bit. I always use Lounge Buddy app to find a lounge. You just sync your uh, credit cards to it and it'll tell you what access you have for what lounges. First class business class lounge pretty decent everything was free inside free food free drinks they had liquor I think it was worth it gentle reminder if you ever fly into Australia from Bali or Thailand don't buy a bottle of water because they're gonna take it from you and you can't bring it on the plane I have no idea what the reasoning is behind that but that shit's just dumb it's a bottle of water you buy in the airport what's gonna go wrong so i am flying to sydney this is the gate and that is a finnair a330 and i booked my flight on Qantas. so this is this is a new one for me i've never seen this happen before especially a foreign airline picking up passengers in another country taking them to host country I thought that was a no-no here we go getting on the plane now let's see how it goes After 21 hours, made it back to LAX, y'all. Waiting on the ride to come pick me up. 